So OnePlus started with flagship killers, budget phones that undercut mainstream ones on price, but for years it has struggled to make a phone with a truly great camera. And last year it tried to do just that, partnering with camera maker Hasselblad in a three-year $150 million deal, but the first phone after that partnership, the OnePlus 9 Pro, fell just a bit short. Well, this is the OnePlus 10 Pro, and yes, its camera looks bigger and better, and sure, you still have that Hasselblad branding all over. But can this camera really take on the very best? Well, only one way to find out, and we've got the iPhone 13 Pro Max and Google's Pixel 6 Pro, and we shot a bunch of photos and videos to test them out in real life. And just one quick word here, the OnePlus 10 Pro that we have is the Chinese version. This year, OnePlus launched the 10 Pro first in China, and the global release is yet to happen. And that international model might be different, so keep that in mind. All right, this being said, let's quickly run over the specs. And first, the cameras here look gigantic. Yes, main camera sensor on the OnePlus is a bit smaller than that of the Pixel, but it's bigger than the iPhone. However, the iPhone has that fastest f1.5 aperture on the main camera to let in more light, so things kind of balance out. The ultra-wide camera is particularly interesting, because last year's OnePlus 9 Pro had an industry-leading ultra-wide camera, but this new phone uses a much smaller physical sensor that instead can capture an even wider 150 degree field of view. So check out these shots, it's really a very wide camera. But with smaller sensor, you also get a compromise in quality. Anyway, enough with the specs, let's kick this off and right now you should see a front camera video recording of all three phones. The OnePlus is actually the only one that does not support 4K video with the front camera, so we had to record in 1080p. Not a huge deal, but we like the saturated colors, however video stabilization seems to be completely missing on the OnePlus and footage looks very jerky, which is not a good start. And here is the front camera video recording at night. The OnePlus cleverly uses the screen to illuminate your face at night and it also boosts brightness quite a bit, so the video from it does look quite a bit brighter, but it is also quite noisy. Alright, next up here are a few selfies and you can choose between a wide and a close-up view on the Pixel and the iPhone, and particularly the Pixel has this super wide view which is nice for group shots, while the OnePlus only has one fixed field of view which is kind of a middle ground with the front camera, not too wide, not too close up, and that's a bit of a limitation since we would like to have some variety here, and colors on the OnePlus also appear a bit bleak compared to the more saturated and just more vivid colors on the Pixel and the iPhone. But let's get to the main course, shall we? The rear cameras. Right from the get-go, you notice that photos on the OnePlus are quite wide. You have a 23 millimeter lens here, and they are exposed brighter than the rest of the phones, would even say they come out a bit overexposed. Now, colors are also very flat, lacking in contrast and saturation compared to the other two, and you can definitely notice this. We don't know what's going on here, but just using auto mode with default settings, the 10 Pro just doesn't look quite as punchy and as good as those other two phones. The new ultra wide camera goes for a similar look, it brightens up the shadow quite a bit resulting in a very bright photo, it also dials up the saturation the ultra wide camera and that is quite significant and sometimes that looks great, just look at the sundial photo here, nice and saturated, but at other times it can be a bit too much and look artificial. By the way we mentioned it's a super wide 150 degree sensor but by default it captures cropped in photos to avoid the distortion, so you need to go into camera modes and manually enable the 150 degree mode from there if you want to get that full view, otherwise you just get a cropped in view with the ultra wide camera. Alright, let's get to the third camera here and you get a 3.3 times zoom lens on the OnePlus 10 Pro, which does a decent job and you can digitally punch in the camera up to 30 times in photos and 10 times in video. So we tried zooming here on the sign with the native lenses on each phone and the Pixel looks like the clear winner to us. It has a 4x zoom periscope lens 
it has the most detailed shot and most noticeably it still preserves those beautiful colors while zoomed in well colors just don't look as nice and saturated on the other two and even at 10 times zoom the pixel again looks just out of the league of the other two when it comes to zoom quality however if you like photographing people the pixel falls absolutely flat with portrait mode the quality is just I would say abysmal. Using the close-up portrait view, detail is completely missing on the Pixel. The OnePlus does a better job, has more detail, but it also has some issues with skin tones. Notice the pink color of the skin and just the lack of detail in the face on the OnePlus. And we just have to give this portrait mode round to the iPhone, which strikes the best balance between colors, detail, and everything else. Okay, let's take a look at video quality using the main cameras. And right now we're looking at nighttime video recording on all three phones and the OnePlus has the slightly brighter video, but also notice how lights are blown out while you don't have this problem on the other two phones. The OnePlus could also do a better job with colors. The asphalt here appears orange, while it's definitely not that color in real life. And next up, as we walk, video stabilization is similar on the OnePlus and Pixel, we get just a tiny bit of a jet and it's just a bit more refined on the iPhone. And next up switching to the ultra wide camera at night and you get a much darker video compared to the main camera. So at night you probably want to avoid using the ultra wide camera at all on all these phones. You have more noise, everything is just too dark. Overall, all three phones don't look great. But you also get an annoying flicker on the Google Pixel as we walk, that is very noticeable. So finally switching to the main camera once again and pointing it at a light at night and you get this very noticeable lens flare on the Pixel and the OnePlus and far less so on the iPhone. So overall, just to sum it up, it seems like the iPhone still remains the video camera to beat in the smartphone world. It just appears better both during the day and at night and it's more consistent. We would however be remiss not to mention the new cool recording modes on the OnePlus. Our favorite has got to be the 4K video at 120 frames per second, which makes for absolutely stunning slow motion. You need to slow the recorded footage down in post on your computer though, as the OnePlus gallery app does not have that function. So it's definitely an enthusiast function, but worth it though. Take a look at this short 4K slow mode that we shot using that new mode. We absolutely love it. So at the end of the day, the OnePlus 10 Pro would say falls victim to the high expectations. A $150 million deal with Hasselblad, a phone one year in the making, and we certainly expected a bit more out of it. Sure, you might be able to get great results shooting raw photos and going into pro mode and doing all that, but for regular folks just using the auto settings, the Pixel and the iPhone seem like the more capable options for both photos and videos and especially for zooming in video. But do keep in mind that the OnePlus 10 Pro that we have here is the Chinese version and the international model might be different. Who knows, we'd have to wait until it launches later on this year. But in the meantime, let us know how you like the photos and videos that you saw here from the 10 Pro. Do you like what you see or do you wish OnePlus did more? So hit us up in the comments. Don't forget to also hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed watching this video. And I will see you in the next one.